Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you all and welcome to the channel. In this uh, short video, we will cover three methods that I forgot to discuss in the class class lecture or the class metadata accessibility lecture. And those three methods are get enum constants, get enclosing class and get declaring class. I discovered these while I was preparing the lecture for the method class or uh, the methods uh, metadata accessibility. But before we begin, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya wal-mursaleen, Sayyiduna Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsanin ila yawmiddin, wa rda Allahumma anna ma'ahum ajma'in, Allahumma ameen. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد We begin in the name of Allah, the most merciful in this life and in the hereafter. We thank him for all of his blessings that he has bestowed upon us for they are innumerable. Uh, and we pray that we follow in the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his fellow companions. Amen. We also ask for prayers and blessings to be bestowed upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his family, as they were bestowed upon Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, and his family. Okay, so let us start with these two. Then we can create an enum for this method because as you see get enum constants it refers to the constants of an enum okay so let us cover these two methods uh, so what we will do is we will create the student class like so and then i will create an object of that class uh, c1 is called a student dot class like so okay c1 dot get enclosing class let us read about this method actually let us read about both those methods because they are they have the same functionality get enclosing class returns the immediately enclosing class of the underlying class. If the underlying class is a top level class, this method returns null. What does that mean? This is the top level class and these curly braces enclose what is within that class. So if I create another class like so, this is enclosing the underlying class. So that is basically what it is referring to. Now let us check get declaring class. If the class or interface represented by this class object is a member of another class returns the class object represented the class in which it was declared. Basically, this is a member of the student class. Thus, this class is declaring this class. Just to highlight the differences, let us create an interface here and see if we'll, if both will work with interfaces in addition to classes. Okay. Uh, what does this return again? A class so we can simply print it. Okay. So what I will do is I will create another class, C2, and within it I will store class teacher. So how do I access class teacher? student dot teacher dot class so this is the underlying and this is the top level or the declaring class so i will switch these to c2 
like so. And like so. Now let us see the output of these two. Any moment now, there. Class student is the enclosing class of teacher. And class student is the declaring class of teacher as well. What if we create another class within that class? Class exam, for example. Uh, class C3 is equal to student dot teacher dot exam dot class like so. Now let us switch this to C3 and C3 and see what happens. So here it shows you that teacher is the enclosing class of exam. However, teacher is an inner class of student. So that is the output that I wanted to show you. Well, what about the interface? Class C4 is equal to student dot book dot class. Class like so. Now let us see if both will detect detect an interface as well. Perfect. So what we can do is call this. Um, what can we call this outer class type because it can be an interface retrieval. So if you wish to discover or manipulate the outer class of an inner class, you can use these two methods. Finally, we will create an enum to display this. Enum people. And here I will say Abdullah AC Ahmed H Ahmed S Hassan S Zahi well before Zahi Muhammad H and Zahi M like so. Then I will say class C5 is equal to people dot class. C5 dot get enum constants. I just want to show you the description. Okay. Returns the elements of this enum class or null if the class is not an enum. So let us test and see if the class is actually an enum or not. So we can say uh, C1. Let us go with C1 and print the array of types. And I would like to record the lecture to show you this method because it is extremely convenient as you can see. Then we print the array null because this is not an enum. Okay, so how do we print an enum? So this will hopefully retrieve all the constants and it does beautifully. But this output, as you can see it here, is customized by the two string method here. Well, how would we print it if um, enum constant constants retrieve? How would we print it using the traditional enhanced for loop or the regular for loop but i would like to show you the enhanced for loop so here will be the array iterator and here will be c5 dot get enum constants or you can store it in an array variable it is up to you but what is the data type here 
as you can see, the return type is of type T, a generic type. So how would we create the data type of the iterator here? Am I able to use T? No, I am unable to use T. So because this T is a generic type, that means it factors in any type. What is the class that is apparent to all objects or all types? You probably have guessed it. I, do, I cannot tell because I am not there, but it is class object. So the data type that includes the flexible generic types would be class object, like so. And then we can safely print array iterator, like so. And there you have it. And that is it with regards to this lecture. I hope this video was helpful and beneficial to you all. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Be safe, take care, and peace be upon you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallayt ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim fil alameen innaka hamidun. Majid.